friends, welcome to a vlog, our vlog, of the very first day of the Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival 2024. Hope is also here. We're going to be Hello. doing a voiceover vlog today to yeah. show you all the stuff. We are showing you guys all of the merch for the festival, like style by style and different each different collection that is available. Yep. Starting out with the pins. These are all of the pins that are available for the Flower and Garden Festival. The look that you're seeing right here was in the pin store at the beginning of Epcot as you go under Spaceship Earth. Really cute designs this year. Yeah. They kind of took a piece from each collection and made a pin for it. And then they also have the classic topiary pins, which you'll see in just a second. Here they are a little closer. We've got Alice and the Mad Hatter, Belle and Beast, and Sorcerer Mickey and one of the broomsticks from the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Very, very cute. The Spike the Bee, I believe, is the pass holder pin. Those two are the pass holder pins this year. And I don't think this Magic Band is pass holder, but it is really stinking cute with yes, orange fur. Florida oranges. Can't so, beat it. so cute. And this is the mystery pin collection, which we will have an opening of coming soon. Yeah, and we'll give you a better shot of the characters in that opening, but they're all very cute. I'm excited to see what they look like. This was the thing that excited me the most in this release, and this is the lug collection for the Flower and Garden Festival featuring Spike the Bee. There are two different bags in this collection, and as you can see, the cast member is wearing it, so it's actually a convertible tote and backpack in one Super cute. with these really cute cargo pockets on the front, quilted, classic lug, so cute. And if I'm not mistaken, Hope, that's canvas, right? It not is. like It's quilted canvas. It's quilted canvas, which is interesting. And then this one is also convertible. It can be a tote or a crossbody bag. And then I show you in just a second a peek at the inside print. Look How cute! Flowers. So this one doesn't actually have a year on the outside of the bag, only on the inside lining. So you can use it year after year in the Flower and Garden Festival. Very fun. So the first collection we're gonna show you is the Coco collection. There is a whole collection of Coco inspired merchandise for this festival, which I think is an interesting choice. The colors are amazing Stunning, in this collection. Beautiful, vibrant, gorgeous, love it. Um, but a very interesting choice of collection. I'm not mad about it though. I'm always happy for more Coco rep. I actually think it's very fitting for an Epcot festival considering the Mexico Pavilion. It's true. I think it's always fun when they mix some new movies or new characters into the collection. Yes. This shirt is kind of fun. It's got like a button detail. It's like more designed rather than just a plain old t-shirt. Does that make sense? So it will it's got fit a little flare. A little different. Yeah, it's got a little flare. We are going to do our best to share with you guys the prices for each of these items as we go. This one, this is weird. Is the conundrum. Okay, so this is the, the rolled up blanket, but I have not been able to find anywhere online anyone who has seen it unrolled or has a photo of it unrolled. And they did not have one in the actual building that was open, so we don't know what the design yeah, is on that I blanket. think it's kind of similar to the other side of this bucket hat. Um, that you'll see in a second, which I'm obsessed with the bucket hat, so by the way. Cute. It's so fun and so vibrant and, and so colorful. And so I think it's something akin to this the as far skulls. as the design with the sugar skulls on it, but I'm not 100% sure of that. I was trying to show Hope how if you flip the brim up, you could have the other pattern on either side of your bucket hat. I don't you know. You can be that person. It's fun. It's really vibrant and fun. Here we have the first of the Turvis tumblers for the Coco collection. I kind of like this lime green. It's like... Kind of a vibe. Funky. Yeah. I also think it's a must now with any Epcot festival to have the Turvis tumblers. They yeah. have to have at least one for every festival. It's kind of a collectible thing now. Yeah. So the second collection that we're going to show you is the Orange Bird, which is by far the biggest collection. And How I am obsessed this? with it. This is the cutest thing ever. Look at the orange juice It carton. is a planter for flowers. You can put them on the top so it'll just kind of hold them up. You could also totally use this as a display on your shelf. And it looks like a carton. I'd absolutely put bright orange flowers in that. It would be so, so cute. cute. And it's ceramic. Here is the other collectible that I feel like cannot be missed in any Epcot festival, and that is the trash can salt and pepper shaker. I actually love this trash can. It's like so it is cute. so and cute. they have multiple trash cans you'll see coming up. Oh my gosh, with the orange on the top. Stop. <laughs> I know I saw this in person, but I'm reliving it again with you guys. <laughs> Here's the other Turvis with the Orange Bird collection. 
So just this orange bird and then like Florida original, I think on it somewhere. Yeah, but it's really, really cute. Kind of like a 70s retro yes. fun kind of vibe. I can't lie, I'm obsessed with the ornament. I really am. Look how cute he is. Spaceship Earth is the orange on the side. It's so cute. I kind of want to cry. I just love him so <laughs> and much. And you can remove the tether and just make it like a shelf sitter or you can attach it and make it a Christmas ornament. So win-win. Here's the first of the spirit jerseys. There are several, um, but this is the first one with the orange bird collection. Look how cute he is there on the sleeve. It's like a tie-dye sage green. It's kind of hard to tell on the camera. And then it does have orange bird on the front, the back, and the sleeve. So it is a win-win-win. Yes. I do really love this t-shirt as well. It's white, um, which kind of looks pink in that shot there for a second, but it's white and it's kind of see-through, which is my one issue with Disney white t-shirts. They're often quite thin, but the design is so cute. And the same as the pin. So if you That's want the t-shirt and pin, you can get that cute little orange bird retro. This t-shirt I actually love so much. I did actually purchase one for myself. It's so great. They put all I'm obsessed. Of, not all of them, but some of the best World Showcase I'm pavilions. I'm obsessed with on the, the pavilions front. on the front. It's so cute. And this like peach sherbet color, I love so much. You know that we got we are obsessed with the World Showcase in general. So yeah. anytime that they add us to the merch, we are here for it. This is a nice little like sun-powered, solar-powered lantern, um, which is kind of fun, very unique. Not something I've seen Disney do before. It has an open base, so you can actually charge it by the sun with a solar panel on the top, or you can use it as a traditional lantern over like- A candle uh, or something. Yeah, a candle. This is a planter, or you could use it as a fruit bowl, but I think it's meant more for plants. Although oh, there's no drain on the bottom, so maybe a fake plant. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, here is the ball cap. This was one of my favorite designs of anything in the it's entire collection. Tie-dye orange with the embroidery on the back. Just very flower and garden, quintessential. Mm -hmm. Here's the orange bird mug with the juicer on top, as Hope so lovingly. Um, Want some orange juice? <laughs> Ditch the rates for you there. But yeah, you can just squeeze your juice right into the mug, which is kind of fun. And it does have a textured exterior, almost like a golf ball, but it is ceramic, which is really cool. Yeah. The apron is adorable. I really, really like it. My one complaint is that it doesn't have a pocket. Yeah. Um, which well, we have quite a few of the Disney aprons. We do, which is not the end of the world, obviously. You can do without a pocket, but like I feel like there should be a pocket. But the, the, the design is just so cute. I am low-key struggling to show you guys this apron, but it's really hard when it's not on a mannequin or on a hanger to show it, but I did my best. <laughs> Here she is, the lounge fly. The moment you've all been waiting da -da -da. for. It's actually Look really at that. cute. He like pops out of the little flower pot on the front or he can kind of hide away. Honestly, this is one of the most detailed lounge flies I've seen in a while and I do really like it. I love the oranges on the strap there that Hope's showing you right now. The little details are adorable. And then inside is like an orange, orange colored, orange themed fruit <laughs> print. It's cute, I think it's really cute. Also struggling to show you there, but cute lounge fly. This one is probably the highest priced item yeah. of the entire collection, minus the Dooney and Burks. And this one is the Ray Spooner collection for the Flower and Garden Festival. So it is one of their classic button down short sleeve shirts. Has really cool, I think it has SPF in it. If I'm not mistaken, you can kind of pause and zoom in on the tag if you're interested for more information. But this guy, this little beauty is $125. Yeah. It's crazy. It's also, I think, I might be wrong, but I think it's the same pattern as the Dooney and Burke bags, but in white instead of blue. I think so. So if you want to be bougie together, you can. This is the other part of the Lug collection. So they were the two that we showed you earlier, and then this one is a little crossbody. It's the so same cute. design as the figment that was in the Festival of the Arts collection. This one has a cute interior print, again with the classic quilting for Lug, an adjustable and removable shoulder strap, and I will be doing a review video on that for you guys as hey, well. Hey. These are the lounge fly ears, and honestly, these are some of my least favorite lounge fly ears that I've seen in a while. They look really cheap to me, and I don't know why. I think it's kind of like weird pin on the front, and I don't know, it's just like not great. But it does match the backpack. It does. 
Here's the third collection. I believe this is the last collection as well. This is the Minnie Mouse Butterfly Collection. And I think I this is really cute. by the Butterfly Gardens. But the butterflies to me look like they should have gone with the Coco Collection. It was they a little seem confusing. Coco vibes to me. This um, like planter does have the little Epcot logos, which we loved. Um, but the way that like the butterflies themselves are designed just kind of gave me Mexico Pavilion vibes. Which is cool. It's great. And then Minnie Mouse is there in her little sundress and I'm like, ah. Oh, it was a little confusing as we were going through shopping these collections because we kind of thought they were one and the same, but they're actually two different collections. Yeah. But again, very unusual designs. Here you have the other trash can salt and pepper shakers with the World Showcase Pavilion on the that. bottom. On the bottom. Oh, it's so cute. I love the trash cans of this festival. I think they might be some of my favorite of the like shaker trash cans we've had in a while. They're so cute. And a more affordable design because they're only $12.99 a piece. Yes. This is the t-shirt for the um, Minnie Mouse collection, again, with those cute little butterflies on them, kind of paying homage to the butterfly gardens, yes. as well as a rolled hem that is actually sewn on the shoulders. So and the kind blue, of look more cash. some of the blue butterflies are embroidered. That's what I was showing you there with my finger <laughs> touching them because they are embroidered, not just screen printed, which is fun. And here is the second spirit jersey of the festival. This one is again Minnie Mouse with the butterflies. And again, it's a really cute design. Um, I like it on the white background. I feel like it really does pop. I love this back. And check I it out. I love the back. Confetti, also, butterflies, world showcase, what's not to love? This spirit jersey is really thin. It feels like a t shirt material rather than a sweatshirt material, which is great for Florida. We appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, oh, here's our fabulous model in the sun hat. Thank and you. I did convince Abby not to get this because she does not need another I sun don't. Hat. I already have a flower and garden sun hat. I need to stop. Look how cute with the little bee. And it's embroidered. It is actually surprisingly great quality. It is. And the ribbon is really Look pretty. How adorable. It's so cute. It but looks I, so I cute don't. on the wall too, just yeah. as a decor. But I don't need another one. I don't. <laughs> I don't. This one is one of the only garden themed items in the That's entire That's true. Festival. Normally it's we have more garden, garden picks. So you can stick it in your garden or in your front yard and it's kind of like a little decor to yeah. add to your Also yard. This, this little rock is kind of like a little yard decor or I guess you could put it on a mantle or something. I don't know. It's pretty. As you can tell, we do not have a yard that we decorate. No, clearly not. This was a unique piece for this festival mm -hmm. I've never seen before. It is a bou flower bouquet carrying bag. So you put your flowers in there. It has an adjustable cinch on the top so that they stay in the bag. And then it has an adjustable handle as well. So you can wear it on your shoulder and carry them home from the market. I actually really love this little keychain. It's it's one of the like smallest pieces, but look how cute it is. Very dainty, very yeah. girly, pink and frilly. Here's the pass holder shirt with Spike the Bee in his like sketched form this year. So this is a new artwork design yeah. for Spike the Bee and this is also partially embroidered, so it's kind of 3D from the shirt. There it's cute. was less pieces in the pass holder collection yeah. than I thought, um, but I'm not mad about it because I think the ones that they did were very um, intentional. So here are the Dooney and Burks that were released for this festival. And like Abby was saying earlier, this pattern you see in a couple different items um, in the merchandise line, but I do love it. It's Orange Bird, Spaceship Earth with the dark kind of navy blue background. Mm -hmm. Really beautiful. They had two different styles, actually three different styles in this one. The tote, the dome satchel, and the mini crossbody. All of which have the um, imprinted leather tag that normally comes on the Dooney and Burke bags that is removable. So if you don't want that on there, you can take it off. But then it's also a great memory of your time at the festival. Here is the little crossbody. I believe it's called the camera bag, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and it is a really great park size if you're actually going to the parks and mm -hmm. you want just to carry a few things. It's a great size for that. And again, I really like this pattern. Here is a look at the Pandora charm set for the festival. It was kind of hard to see because the details are so small, but it is a bead and a pendant that both come in the same set. Cutest packaging you ever did Adorable. see. And this does say Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival with um, orange bird on it. So the Pollination Exploration Scavenger Hunt is not one we normally do, but it is a good one if you've got kids, it's a great choice. And here are the prizes 
They're teeny tiny games of cornhole. That it's the, the cutest thing I've ever seen. Look at the tiny <laughs> bean bags. I'm obsessed. So there's four of them with the different um, collections. So there's the spike, the bee, the butterflies, the cocoa skull, and also orange bird. And the teeny tiniest little bean bags you ever did see. You put anything in miniature form and we're obsessed with it. We're here for it. <laughs> and this would be great for travel if you're in a hotel room. Yes. You can take it with you, throw it in your bag. And here is a look at the two uh, gift cards for the festival. These are the ones you can preload and then go around to the food booths. It makes it a lot easier. Speaking of food booths, Here's the last thing we got up to this day. We wanted to try the cheesecake, which has always been one of Hope's favorites, but they changed it up this year. It's no longer at the Honey Bistro. Yes. It is now at the Swirl Showcase, yes. which is the ice cream booth and desserts booth, I should say. It is a nitro cheesecake, so they flash freeze it, they smash it with a meat cleaver, and then they decorate it up, and it was quite delicious. It was okay. I preferred the original cheesecake. Agreed, but, but it was very creamy, and it was nice that it was cold, because it was hot this day. It was. It was. It was and quite it's like refreshing. a berry compote on the side as well. Yeah. And then the other thing we got from this world showcase was the red cream soda float. Um, vanilla ice cream with Barb's red cream soda. Yeah, it was tasty. It looked a lot cuter than it. Uh, I had to. Like, Abby had a little bit of uh, emergency surgery uh, trying because it was dripping and it was falling, and I was like, "Oh no!" And so it looked a lot cuter when we first got it. I promise. <laughs> yes, but all in all, it was a great first day at the festival. Keep on the lookout on our channel for more flower and garden videos. We have lots more food to try, lots of topiaries to see, and so much more fun. So if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more Disney magic, and be sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any more festival fun from us. We'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.